the quotient property of square roots says that if we had a square root with a quotient underneath it, we are allowed to take that quotient and break it up into its two individual square roots. So I can break it up into its numerator and its denominator and look at those pieces independently of each other. Now, how does this help us? Okay, well, sometimes we're going to get square roots. We'll start off with a kind of a simple one, just so we can get the idea. If I asked you to simplify the square root of 16 over 25, well, most students, when they see this, they panic because, one, it's a square root. Two, it's a fraction. So now you've got two things kind of going on at the same time. But if we use this this sort of property, this rule that basically says, go ahead and break it up. Put it into its two individual parts and put this as the square root of 16 over the square root of 25. And now, rather than looking at this as a fraction, let's just look at what happens to the numerator and what happens to the denominator. All right, well, what's the square root of 16? Well, the square root of 16 is 4. And what about the square root of 25? Well, that's just 5. And there's our solution. We've now simplified the square root of 16 over 25. So rather than looking at this whole fraction, we break it into its smaller, more simple version in terms of its terms. OK, well, where is this going to help us when we get to some other ones? Well, there might be something that looks like this. Simplify. And now let's say we had the square root of x over 4. All right, well, <coughs> now we can't really do anything because there's a variable involved. So this kind of changes our picture. But the question still says to simplify. It still wants us to see how to get it into a simpler form. So we're going to use that same technique. Numerator, square root of x, over denominator, square root of 4. And now we're going to look at each piece. Can I do anything with that? Can I do anything with that? Well, the square root of x is pretty much left as the square root of x. We don't have a value for that, so we can't do anything with it. But can we do something with the square root of 4? Well, the square root of 4 is just 2. And now, we've simplified this down. So this property allows us to separate the numerator and denominator, look at each one individually, and then simplify from there.